Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are having a look at report types in Salesforce. Now first off, what is a report type? A report type defines the set of records and fields that we're making available to create the report on. Now it all sounds a little bit confusing, but you'll see a report type when you first go to create a report in Salesforce and you have to choose from a bunch of different combinations of objects and different sets of objects, whether it's just one by itself or one with something else. And these are all our different report types that are available. Now our report types are based on the relationships between a primary object and then any related objects. Reports will display only records that meet that criteria that has been defined in the report time. And Salesforce has a bunch of standard report types which are available for us. This covers a huge range of options and reports that we can create, but we're often going to want to create our own custom report types, especially if you have things like custom objects. There will not be standard report types for your custom objects because you have created those custom objects, not Salesforce. Salesforce doesn't even know that they're there. So it's up to you to create your custom report type. Now you can have up to three child objects in a custom report type, but you can't add the following fields, product schedule fields, history fields, or the age field for cases and opportunities. Now whichever primary object you choose is going to define what the report will be about, and the secondary objects are going to provide that additional related information that you need. Think of the primary object like the key output for your report. Report types are super useful and are necessary for building a good report. Choosing the correct report type at the start is going to define the fields that you have available and therefore the end result of your report. Building custom report types is easy but important and so you need to make sure that you're taking the time to choose those primary and secondary objects with careful investigation. I hope that this video was a bit of a snapshot into what report types are, why they're important, and how you can use them.